Hey, what's up? This is Fusamania. I am here with DJ Simo, and today we are going to give you a lesson on smart crates. This is something we talked about on his episode of the podcast, and now we're going to bring the video to you. So here with me is Simo, and he's going to teach you a little bit on how he uses smart crates and what he uses them for, specific events and all that good stuff. So follow along. Hey guys, I'm Simo. Uh, I'm here to teach you a little bit about how I use smart crates in Serato to keep myself organized easily and automatically. So one of the things that's super important when it comes to using smart crates is making sure that all of your categories or you know your ID3 tags are, are up to par. So we have a genre here that I use all the time. Uh, the grouping folder is what I use to keep all of my intro edits in one place. So I have a, an intro crate over here, which is what I keep all of those DMS edits in. And over here, I put DMS in the grouping category so that all of my intro edits are in one spot as far as the smart crates are concerned. Um, I use, well, there's the year as well, the key and the BPM are the categories over on, on the right side that I typically pull from for my smart crates. And then obviously the song and artist categories as well. So for my first example, I'm going to show you what I do to keep all of my clean music in one place for when you're playing those corporate events or a casino, um, a lounge, happy hour, or something where you don't want your dirty edits to sneak through your, uh, your library. So what I do first is open up the smart crate window here on the left side and you can start adding rules. So what I do first is add the, the grouping, which is right here, to contain DMS, which basically sweeps through all of my library and makes sure that I'm now only working with songs that have DMS in the group category, like I showed you before. And then from there, we can start drilling down to get more specific for what we're looking for. So in that, in the example of finding a clean song, what I like to do is go to the, the song selection here. And instead of containing the word clean, what I do is make sure that it does not contain the word dirty because there are certain songs that obviously don't have a dirty and a clean edit. So this way it just takes the word dirty and eliminates it from this entire smart crate. So next, what we're going to do is say we want to also make sure that all of these clean edits are short edits, for example. All you would do there is go back to the song column and it would pull all of the short edits out if you type the word short in there. And then let's just save this smart crate and go down to what it created. And once it sweeps your library, you'll see that it leaves you with no edits that have the word dirty in there and no edits that are full length edits because the word short is in all of them. Say you're playing a private party and you show up and you're not sure what the theme is or no one knows what the theme is and you walk in and they're like, we want classic rock from the 1980s. So one of the things you can do is create a smart crate again with the grouping that contains DMS, assuming you're gonna to wanna to pull all your intro edits, which I normally do, and add this rule, and then go to genre, and contains the word rock. Let's just go with that. And then from there, we can even add the year to be in a certain range. So you would go, say, if you, say you want 80s rock, you would select year, after 1979, add another rule for year before 1990. And then this will give you all of your rock music between 1979 and 1990 in your intro folder in Serato. So once this refreshes and sweeps through the library, you'll see here we got some Steve Winwood, Guns N' Roses, Van Halen, Blondie, you know, this is, this is all the stuff. You don't have to go through and organize this ahead of time if you don't have the time or, you know, you, you get hit with a surprise party. So now right here, without any, any work other than what I just did, you have all of your 80s rock in one folder and you still have the search bar free to, to search songs inside this folder as well. You don't have it because sometimes if you type in rock, obviously in your search 
bar, you can't do anything past that with the search bar. So this frees up your search bar to use it for other things. Okay, and one more example I wanna give you for how I use smart crates is on direct music service, the way that we tag files is every song that is Spanish, we tag with Spanish in the song title. So we can use that to our advantage as well by again, going to our intro edits here, selecting song and contains the word Spanish. And one more thing, make sure that you're matching all of the following rules. Otherwise it will only match. It'll give you everything in your DMS folder if you don't select matching all rules or everything in your with your DMS group. So for that one, you head over here once it sweeps through your library. And as you can see, we got Despacito right there, ready to go. No, no personal, you know, long hours of organization necessary of all your Spanish music in one place and you're ready to rock and roll. All right. And for my last example, we're really going to drill down as far as we can, just to show you how neat and intuitive this smart crate system is. So say, let's just figure this out as we go along. You want to go from your, your intro folder and we want to find songs that are in the key of say eight, eight a additionally, we would like them to be between the BPMs of 100 and less than 111, which would give us hundred to 110 BPM. Then let's say we want it to be short as well. And let's see if we have anything in here. Just to show you how far you can go down into this. To, if you're looking for a song to mix out of and you want it to be in key and you want to see it all in the BPM range on the fly, here you go. Everything between 100 BPM and 100 and 111, I guess it, it takes less than or equal to. So 100, 100 to 111, all your short edits in here in the key of 8A, that's how much work it takes. So yeah, on direct music service, we utilize the ID3 tags very heavily for many reasons, this being one of the major ones. So you can look through your files and find all your short edits. You can find all your Spanish music, all your rock music, all your indie edits. It's great. You don't have to do anything in advance. You can let your computer do the sorting for you. Uh, thanks for tuning in. So that's going to wrap things up. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to hit us in the DMs or uh, post a comment and we'll be sure to answer your questions. I uh, just want to say thanks to Simo for coming on and showing us a little bit of how he uses smart crates. Smart crates are great if you're doing anything, you know, private party, wedding, and you just need things on the fly and you haven't had time to prep, or maybe you want to, you know, see what you already have so you can go on the website and pull anything that you don't already have. We are very specific on how we tag things on DMS, so it allows you to use these smart crate features. So that is one of the things that we try to do at DMS. So everything it can be organized um, in a smart crate. Just want to say thank you for tuning in. And like I said, if you have any questions, leave us a comment, uh, send us a DM, and we'll try to answer it as best as possible.